Oh, let's see. And then we'll go uh, at home. Yeah. Mm. Today we talk axe sharpening. Gonna need your axe. Too dull. What shall I sharpen? Sharpening stone. Well, uh, water receptacle. With what shall I wet it? We are both to. Oh yeah. <laughs> sure, I could have told you that. <laughs> You got your puck, which comes in this nice little carrying case. Don't forget to check the description for link. Double gridded side, you want to add it into your water. The water on the puck itself helps to create a viscosity, lubricating the puck as you sharpen. You just want to let this sit and ruminate for a bit. Given that this axe is already fairly factory sharp, we're gonna start with the 320 grit side of the puck rather than the 180, because the 180 is more for reshaping, sharpening an axe that hasn't been sharpened in a while or a knife or whatever, for honing, getting out chips and burrs and things like that. So starting with the 320, we're just gonna polish more so the sharpness that's already there. You're looking for the plane on the bevel of your axe, just like in our knife sharpening video, only this is gonna be a lot more straightforward. So you wanna line up your puck. When you place the puck against the axe, you can see that little spacer between the puck and the blade edge. Noticing that little gap, black line, almost like a marker line in between. You wanna close that angle to the bevel so you can't see that marker line anymore. The little shadow is gone. And then you want to do small little circles all the way up and down the blade, medium pressure, counting each time you go back and forth all along that angle. Sharpening the one side, keeping in mind and counting each pass forward and backwards as you work your way down the blade, giving it slightly over medium pressure as you move along the edge making your way back and forth as you go. And then you're gonna repeat it on the other side of the ax. Right about there. Well, that's convenient. surgery can be done over the weekend.